If you're looking to spend Thanksgiving at the beach, most of us here in the Coastal Bend don't have to look to travel very far. And county officials telling us they're expecting large crowds during the next few days. Our Seth Kovar live tonight at North Beach with a look at what it took to get all those beaches ready. But first, Seth, the beachgoers you spoke with, are they taking any safety precautions out there? Well, Paul, I spoke to a big family of beachgoers. They were pretty good about the guidelines. You'll meet them in just a minute. Tonight here on North Beach, there's a couple people walking around. Not too much of a crowd to speak of at all. What tomorrow brings, we don't know. But if tomorrow is like today out on the island, there's going to be a lot of people spending their turkey day in the sand. It's calm. Away from the city, and it's safer and more calm right now. Yeah. I love relaxing. it. Yeah, it's relaxing. Yeah. Very relaxing. Oh, good reasons to spend Thanksgiving at the beach. And the Irving family of Corpus Christi is certainly not alone. Uh, I'm surprised to see as many people as I've seen yeah. out here. It's pretty good. I mean, it's cold out here and it's windy. It's a little bit of chill in the air and there's still plenty of people out here. Oh, yeah. And more are on the way. I think today, tomorrow and Friday, it's going to be busy at the beach. That's something Nueces County Coastal Parks Director Scott Cross says he sees every year at Thanksgiving. But this year is giving people extra incentive to hit the sand. That's been the relief for most people throughout this whole COVID thing is their beach. They can get out there and they can spread out and be in fresh open air with a nice breeze. You know, so I, I think it lends itself well to the holiday weekend. Cross's crews have been busy getting the beaches ready for the holiday weekend, especially the area near Bob Hall Pier. The pier itself remains closed because of Hurricane Hannah damage and what used to be the parking lot had to be cleaned up piece by piece. It's been a long battle, man, a really long battle. And as our community battles COVID-19, the Irvings say they're doing their part. We are maintaining our distance <laughs> from other people and we are taking precautions and we're doing well, what we got to well, do well, to make sure that we stay well. safe. And if you'd like more tips for keeping your family safe from COVID-19 over the holiday, there's a full interview with Public Health Director Annette Rodriguez on our website. That's ChrisTV.com. And if you're beach bound for Thanksgiving tomorrow, you have lots of choices. I'm told there are no closed beaches from Port Aransas all the way down to the Padre Island National Seashore. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.